Hey, how are you guys? It is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. Now in this video, I am going to be covering every software and tool that you need to start your MSP. I am hiding nothing. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. I have maybe some affiliates with them because I've used them in the past. But other than that, if I didn't apply for their affiliate program, I'm not an affiliate. All the links for all of the software will be down below. Now, I am not sponsored in any way from any of these companies. These are just companies I know about that I want to help you, being that you're probably a newer MSP or thinking about getting started. I want to be able to be the one that shows you the ropes. And quite honestly, I don't think another video like this exists out there. So we're going to dive into all 10 of my bullet points that I've made that are going to help you crush it at your MSP. Before I get into that, I do have three quick things to mention. Number one, if you work at any of these companies or any competitors of these companies, and you want to sponsor the channel, I'm absolutely open to it. Send me an email, go on my website, growth-generators.com. We'll talk about it, but I would love to get a sponsorship for the channel because I currently fund everything and I don't mind, but it would be nice to have a sponsor. Number two is if you want to sit down with me for a interview, the interview that I've mentioned for the past two videos where we're going to sit down, you're going to ask all of your objections, going over any questions, comments, concerns about your MSP. I would love to do that. I'm going to have my video editor slice it up into a nice little video for YouTube. And then if you'd like to see the full thing, it will be uh, in my online course of every question you guys ask. I will be going through that as well. And then third and last but not least, if you are just getting started or you want to make more money at your MSP, there is a link down below for my free masterclass. Go through it. Five ways to make significantly more money at your MSP. People have loved it so far and it's getting reworked very soon to make it even better than what it is now. So let's jump into my computer here. The first thing we're going to be covering is a RMM or remote monitoring and maintenance solution. So this is probably the most popular company out there. They own a lot of the market right off the bat. And I'm just going to move myself up here because, you know, we do that stuff in real time. But it's called ConnectWise. I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, are familiar with it. It is probably the leader in the industry. Now, I will say it is the least beautified platform as far as like making things look punchy. And if you're thinking about if you're trying to think about like what I think is a beautiful program, look at like Monday.com or ClickUp. They do a really good job with their colors and making things pop. It's just making it very visually appealing. But I will say my first choice as far as the best RMM is ConnectWise. Now I have started vetting other platforms that I think are amazing as well. And as time goes on and depending on what you want, the only ca the only caveat or barrier to ConnectWise is it's about 250 bucks to start with it. So if you already have an MSP and you're, you've been bootstrapping the whole thing, ConnectWise might be a solution. But if you're just starting up, my second favorite or possibly my new favorite for startups is going to be Enable. I've gone through their demo already. It is a fantastic program. That's that's their landing page, but it is a fantastic RMM solution. You can go through. You can do quite a bit on the platform as far as everything that you're going to need to do in your RMM area. Now, we are going to need to talk about your PSA, your professional services automation software. That's going to be your ability to take over people's controllers, uh, controllers, computers. You're going to need to go through and remote in, fix things, adjust things, run scripts. The list kind of goes on and on. So Enable does work with a platform called Splashtop, which is fantastic. There's plenty of other programs out there. You have Kaseya BMS, you have Autotask, uh, but Ultimately, the nice part about ConnectWise is it is all there, but it does come at a bit of a premium expense. But I would recommend all three of these. I've done demos on all of them. I've worked with a lot of them. I've seen it. I've seen how it works in real life. Uh, real life, like I've actually followed an MSP that has used these and seen how they work. It is pretty darn cool. But number three, which is probably the most important and the part that nobody actually likes to do, which is your IT documentation and that is going to be in my fa in my opinion it glue is one of the best there are other platforms out there you have confluence you have Datto. uh the list goes on and on whatever you want to use i happen to like it glue this is not a tutorial by the way i'm not i'm just recommending softwares that you probably need to get started now ConnectWise does do a bit and so does enable of note taking and that kind of thing. But for secure data, passwords, all that kind of stuff, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting something. Doesn't have to be IT glue, but IT glue is a fantastic platform. Now we're getting into the, t the nitty gritty backup and disaster recovery. And I'm just reading my notes here. If you see my eyes drop down, I apologize. I'm calling out before somebody says it. Um, Got to have some good backup and disaster recovery. By the way, if you've made it this far in the video and you see anything that you use differently or you want me to go check out, leave a comment down below. I'd be very curious to see what everybody else is using. These are just some of the 
platforms that I picked. I don't think that they're necessarily the best. They're some of the best in my opinion because I have experience with them for no other reason other than that. So you have to have some kind of BDR, backup disaster recovery. I like Acronis. I've used Acronis before. It's a great company. The team over there happens to do a really, really good job. They also have some pretty cool swag if you happen to catch them at any events. But they have they they offer for home and business like a lot of these softwares. Obviously, you want the business stuff. It's a fantastic product. It'll give you reports on how much it's either backed up or when it backed up. And it's really a very thorough product. I'm impressed with what they've done in the past, and I consistently see great work out of their company. Now, not only do you need a Cronus, but you have to have some kind of safety and security that follows that, and that's going to be your network assessment. So I don't want to think anybody, I don't want to mention and say like, hey, you need to go out, figure out what these people have, but I would say rapid fire tools is just a great one to start off with. Kaseya has obviously bought up quite a few companies, but it's a tool that I've used. Once again, you just want to have something. Now, I would recommend, and I'm going to pull myself off the screen here. I would recommend that you do some homework. You don't need a network assessment tool on day one. This is probably one of the only tools that I would say that I'm going to mention in here that you don't need on day one. This is probably for when you're starting to get a little bit bigger or you're going into a company and you're like kind of nervous if they their network is a disaster or they have really bad viruses in the system. Rapid Fire Tools does a really good job at exposing a lot of that. Once again, not affiliated with any of these companies. You can go through choose whatever you want to use. Just the tool that I've used, the reports are pretty great. In my opinion, they are, it's very quick to run and it'll give you a really good idea of the network assessment to go out there. So just something that I wanted to mention. Now, cybersecurity solutions, this is a long, long list of, of softwares. You can do ESET, you can do WebRoot, you can do Bitdefender. Once again, whatever you prefer, totally up to you. I've used ESET in the past. It's great. It works well. Hasn't given me a hard time on anything. Uh, I, I do like it. I never had to deal with ESET directly, but I've ran ESET on probably thousands of computers. Never had an issue with it. Choose one that works for you. Choose one that that sit, sits well with your system uh, and then that, that you integrate. And that's really it. But you have to have some kind of endpoint for that cybersecurity. Now, cybersecurity can go significantly deeper. That is not this video. This is you're starting in the next week and you need some softwares to get out of the gate. Do you need IT glue? Probably not. Do you need a Cronus? I would highly recommend it. You could probably get away with IT glue without it for a little while, but you're probably going to want it. Having notes and keeping things, things in like Google Drive is just not as secure. Uh, and on top of that, the functionality of sharing out data is absolutely poor on those for when it comes down to sharing passwords and all that kind of stuff. So Nothing against Google or or those tools. You just want to have something dedicated to it, especially when you're first starting to grow out to keep all those those passwords safe. So we've already talked about your RMM, your PSA, professional uh, services automation, your IT documentation, back of a dis disaster recovery, network assessments, cybersecurity solutions. Now we're talking about cloud services. Now, I didn't pull up Azure on here, but I did pull up Office. Office 365 is fantastic. They have a ton of different plans. Sorry, I'm blocking this, uh, but they have a ton of different plans. I like Office 365 way more than I like Google Workspace, whatever you choose to use, but think about different cloud services. Once again, Azure, you have AWS, there's Google. Pick something that works for you. I can't stress it enough. These are just softwares that I've used. I could have made a three hour long video, but nobody probably would have watched it. You, I would highly, highly, highly recommend not skimping on getting a custom email because when people see that you are an IT or an MSP company and you have an at gmail.com account, it doesn't look good at all. I can tell you that with a lot of certainty. Uh, I've seen it sadly more often than not. But think about other cloud platforms that you want to go to. You might want to migrate customers to. Once again, they're not all going to migrate on day one, but it's good to know about and choose. Now we have remote access. So I've already talked quite a bit about remote access. You have a software called Splashtop, which works with Enable, or you could go into ConnectWise directly. Whatever you prefer, again, your decision. You need to be able to access their computers. This is probably the most important part of the entire 
service that you're going to provide is remote access because you need to get in. Yes, your remote monitoring is important. Backups are obviously super important. But for the most part, your bread and butter, the large majority of your money is coming from somebody either calling in or putting a ticket online to say, hey, I need help with my computer and there's not always a script for it. So get ready to start remoting into people's computers. It is going to be a normal part of your day. You can integrate these with your website. You can integrate these with, they have, they're called agents. They go on your customer's computer and that basically allows you to go into their computer and work on their stuff. Whether it is speeding up the computer, maybe it's fixing a software issue. The list goes on and on, but whatever you choose is totally up to you. Like I said, if you're going to go ConnectWise, it is nice. It is automatically built in there. There's another platform called Splashtop. There are so many out there. People have realized that there are there's a huge opportunity here to make money. You have uh, AnyDesk. You have TeamViewer, although I don't particularly prefer TeamViewer, but I've seen some MSPs use it. You have ConnectWise, Splashtop. Once again, whatever whatever works for you choose it make sure it works with your entire system now communication and collaboration tools this is where things get a little wild i love office personally office is fantastic yes it's a cloud service as well but you can do quite a bit with office you're going to need to talk to other people you have zoom you have microsoft teams you have slack choose one that you like there are too many options, in my opinion. They all do something slightly differently. If you're already going to have an email through Office 365, there's no reason to look anywhere else, in my opinion. Just use the product that it comes with. It. It's going to work out great. And the nice part is it automatically works with everything else that they provide. Plus, you get your normal Office suite, which is quite nice in that area. So we've covered all that. My last and probably most controversial in this is you need to have a CRM, a customer relationship manager. Now, the one I use, I am an affiliate. There will be a link down below. I'm happy to admit that will be linked down below for it. But I love Go High Level. Now, I'm not saying that there's not other platforms. Go High Level seems to work really, really well, especially if you're just starting out and you're not going to do a lot of SEO, but you want to run ads. You can build funnels in here. It's a pretty high function product. I highly recommend it. Now, there are other competitors. You have Zoho CRM. You have HubSpot CRM. You have Salesforce, which I would avoid like the plague. Nothing against Salesforce. It's just a lot of software for somebody starting out with a new company. And you, it takes a long time to be good at it. I actually started my company on Salesforce, and I thought it was atrocious in my opinion. It was just too non-user friendly. I like Go High Level. Pick one that works for you. Go High Level is great. You can run a lot of automations through there. It's only $97, so it's not like you're breaking the bank on it, but it's going to allow you to keep track of the conversations that you've had, who you're speaking to on a regular basis. You're going to be able to build funnels in there as well, getting people through, teaching them, educating them. You can also do text messages in here. It has a nice pipeline area, invoicing. It really is just a great platform just because it offers everything all in one. I love HubSpot too. I was a HubSpot partner for years. Problem with HubSpot is it is very expensive. Where this for 97 bucks, you get quite a bit. And if you want me to set you up with it, reach out to me, growth-generators.com. I'll happily set you up with a Go High Level account and get you kind of running faster than what they would provide uh, directly through the company. Now, I did want to do some honorable mentions here because what kind of person would I be if I didn't give you guys some honorable mentions with what we've already talked about. You're building a managed service provider. You are focused strictly on tech. I'm going to give you some tech that I think is well, well worth it. Now, at this point, hopefully you're building out a website or you're going to get one built or you're going to have at least at the bare minimum a landing page. Now, there is a software called Happier Leads. I've mentioned it before on my channel. I'm just going to make sure I pull up the homepage here. Happier Leads is a fantastic program. Share it out. But the nice part and what it does is, yes, you can do prospect on there, prospecting on there. You can do quite a bit with it. But I think the absolute massive win that comes with it is going to be this page here where you're going to be able to have a snapshot of who's visiting your website, not only who, but when they're visiting it and where they're located and some really good information that will help you make more money and find people that might actually want to buy from you. That's the main difference. So you, if you put it on your website. It's just a little bit of code. You can drop it on there. You can see the companies that are visiting your stuff, when they visit it, the activity. This is obviously my agency website, the duration of how long they're spending on there, 
the visits, visitor location. Like I said, just things that I mentioned, but it is a really, really good platform. You can go through here. They have reveal, which is what we're currently on, seeing who's actually visiting your website. And this is great. If you really don't have much of a web presence and you want to see if somebody's looking into your company, this is a no brainer. You simply click on it. It'll show you who it is. It'll try to grab as much information as possible. It'll tell you where they came from. So somebody from Safilio, I appreciate you visiting my stuff. They came from YouTube. And then in here, I can see all the contacts. And it is a very large company uh, with 1,100 people. But it'll give me first name, last name, position, email address. And from there, I can go do whatever I would like with it. Obviously, the employee range is wrong if it says 1 to 15 and it's giving me 1,100 contacts. But it gives you a massive upper hand. I wish, I wish I had this program back in the day because knowing who is visiting the website is putting literal dollars in your pocket. Next is going to be sending out banger resumes. If you don't send out a banger resume, it makes it much harder to close. Now, I know a lot of people typically will build out a Word document. In that Word document, will have every single thing that you need to kind of plug in, but it doesn't have the professionalism, the touch, and it doesn't guarantee a signature. You can't see when they open it, if they're going to get a signature or you're going to get a signature or not. This is the nice part about this. It's a free 14-day trial. It is pennies on the dollar. But when you put this in front of somebody, it looks legit. Now, I've used ConnectWise Quozel before. It is ConnectWise, if you plan on sponsoring me, uh, I don't want to talk poorly about it. But it's, it's better than nothing. And it's much better than a, a Word document. But if you really want to take your your... Uh, proposals up a notch. Pandadoc is a no brainer. You can do so much in here. You can see when people sign, you can grab information on there, legal documents you can attach to it. It is really an amazing, amazing software. And last but not least, LeadScrape. I've mentioned this a couple times now, but LeadScrape is a fantastic product to go out, use, and leverage to scrape data. So not everybody wants to go make phone calls, but it is a very easy way to make a ton of phone calls. You could scrape the data. You basically put it in a location of where you want to scrape, whether it's your city, your town, your, your county, your whole state, and you can go through, you can mention all of that, or you can grab all of that, and then you could start picking up this little device and calling these people. It is amazing. Just gives you the data instead of you sitting there and Googling every single time and having the Google results shift. I personally love it. It's a great way to grab a bunch of data. And then once you call the person, you make, you, you make a touch point with them, you then bring them over to your CRM. But you can use a lot of this for your phone calls. You don't need a special program in that regard. So I hope you guys found some value in this. If you have enjoyed this video up to this point, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But also let me know if I missed a program that you think is absolutely necessary or what you're using and why you like it better than something I mentioned down in the comments. I really, really appreciate that. Other than that, check out those three links that I mentioned, sponsorships, the uh, interview with me, and then also my masterclass. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. And today's my birthday. So I appreciate that. Got you guys for watching it on my birthday. Bye.